In a battlefield fighting championship, Pam matched the featherweight contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, standing at 162 centimeters tall, official weight 144.6 pounds, holding a record of four wins, one loss. Training at CK Gym, representing. South Korea, please welcome Kevin Park! <laughs> and now, interesting is your opponent out of the red corner, Brazil, Divido Four, Morosquino, Fulio, Shijo! And here we go, Neres Jr. from his There's a Lee Lee here in Macau, and she found me on Facebook Messenger, and she just sent me a message. Kevin Park equal absolute unit on Mars. I'm not sure what that means. That means this guy's a character. Do not blame. I cannot wait to see this fight right here. We're about to get it. Park and Neres Jr. Park in the multicolored tie shorts. Neris Jr. in the black. Obvious reach advantage here for Julio Cesar. Those are some interesting tie shorts right there, huh, George? Kevin Park, all style. All I gotta say is if you weren't shorts like that, hopefully you throw some real nice kicks too. Of time. He needs to throw a little bit more as well. Shut that distance. Julio's still feeling him out. He's about to He's got some 
strong musculature to him. His legs are very strong. Nice jab from Barris. Julio Cesar Nevis Jr. is a Bellator veteran. He's won his last four fights coming in. A lot of the time, these martial artists, it's something that they do, they love, they're passionate about. If they're not fighting, they're probably training still. You have to wonder what kept them out of the cage for so long. Such an incredible record. You have to wonder if it was injury. Most likely an injury at that time. Think about it, who knows? Oh. Look at that spinning back kick right there. So George has predicted it was an injury that kept there. Oh, look, look, look at the Roy Jones, look at the Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> dancing himself. It's hard to time somebody like that who, who you don't really know where he's going or what he's doing. Ooh, nice right hand by Julio. Timed that right hand beautifully. <laughs> Sat him right there up against the cage. I mean, he's just got such reach with his arms. I mean, beautiful fly knee. Yeah, the reach advantage is just tremendous. Really a tough fight for Kevin Park. I don't know if you caught that there. Neris Jr. kind of did a little shoulder roll back at Park. Yeah, he's been doing it back. They've been doing it back and forth. Oh, look at that. That's, no, actually, that's a Sanchai. That's a Sanchai cartwheel kick. Sanchai cartwheel kick. It looks just like a capoeira kick. Very similar. Oh, rolling thunder. The rolling thunder right there. My goodness, the technique's being pulled out by Kevin Park. But this is not where he wants to be with Julio Cesar Neves Jr. He was able to posture up right here. Big punches already. That's got to be tough as a smaller fighter being caught underneath the much larger fighter. Hard to get leverage, hard to get submissions. Going into this fight, Park has some, some big disadvantages here having to do with the length and obviously the record of this fighter. To his credit, he's made a great showing here in the first round, but he's got to get up off his back. You see the foot on the hips, but he's got to get out of there. Yeah, being up against that cage, you really got limited mobility, not many places to go. Yeah, it's a, about the most uncomfortable spot you could ever be in. Anybody who's ever trained before, let alone fought, getting stuffed up against that cage and that hard steel is not fun. Especially when you have a guy like Julio Cesar, Cesar Neves Jr. landing bombs on you. Nice elbows. Park did a good job of blocking. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Nice round, all action right there. You can really see, you know, the potential, the explosiveness, the talent in Park. You know, you can really see all the talent that he has. Huge disadvantage, though, dealing with a person with as much reach and experience uh, as Neves here. Yeah, we saw that as the round went on. But my goodness, that Sanchai kick. That's the, the cartwheel kick there, Thai style cartwheel kick. And then the rolling thunder right after. Oh, man. So there's, there's the uh, Sanchai kick right there. Actually, that was the rolling, that was the rolling thunder, yeah. So you really, you really, you can see why this guy's somewhat of a superstar around here. You know, he's got a whole lot of potential. And he's seemingly not afraid of any kind of opportunity because he's taking on this, this big challenge here. And seemingly unfazed. You look at him, it looks like he barely... Second out! Second out! Guy's barely breathing. Cannot wait for round number two here. Once again, we've got Julio Cesar Neves Jr. in the black, and Kevin Park in the multicolored tie shorts and the multicolored hair. <laughs> Trying to keep Cesar Neves Jr. thinking. <laughs> Tried to go for a spinning attack, but got nowhere. Oh, no. He has the length. He does not have to rush it. Oh, spinning attacks by both fighters. By both fighters at the same time. Really the only thing Park can do to set things up. Another spinning back fist attempt. 
Do you notice he tries to pull it up high because of how tall Julio Cesar Memphis is? Oh, take down attempt, gets under the legs. Wow, folks, ball out. Very impressive. What hips. Very impressive. Oh, no way. Wow, he's got the head on triangle here, going for the Dars. That was a choke made famous by Tony D'Souza. Peruvian neck. The Peruvian necktie came so close that was right really there close. by Kevin Park. He rolled through it. That was nasty. Julio, great defense by Julio with that Peruvian. Defended that Peruvian necktie there. I haven't seen the Peruvian necktie in quite a while. I think he's going to try to go for it again here. He's trying to come up again. Great job. Look at that. He's trying to do it again. Maybe the go to move there for Park. Very impressive. That takedown defense by Park. And now he's got the back here almost. Yeah, great performance in round number two by Kevin Park. Controlling around right now. And as you said, it was that takedown sprawl that really kind of changed the momentum. There. You have a small compact fighter like, like Clark in the grappling situation, they do have some advantages being more compact and smaller. Kevin Clark, so and I. Nice knee. Park shakes it off. Beautiful right hand from Park. We've got ourselves quite a fight on our hands right now. Nice combination just missed from Park. Oh, thunder again. Outstanding performance. Park is pulling out all the bells and whistles. That message that I got that said Kevin Park is on Mars, I think they're basically saying he's from another planet. I don't doubt that. <laughs> that is how he is fighting right now. Oh, the second round. Big Jack Cross from Demis Jr. Now, Julio just needs to keep the pressure on. <laughs> and Julio. And, and how do you prepare for a guy like Kevin Park? These are just some wild techniques he's throwing out there. Especially with, yeah, exactly. How do you how do you know what he's going to throw next? So he's probably being more conservative now. Julio's being more conservative. He doesn't know what he's going to do next. Yeah, he's just keeping him off balance. You're kind of taking away the height of it. Yeah, beautiful Imanari leg roll attempt. Love it. Gotta love it. Now we talked about Anderson Silva with the up elbow. We also saw Chono. We Chono. Oh. Anderson Silva with that Imanari leg block years ago. Nice takedown to finish the round there by Julio. And one in round for Kevin Park. Definitely a strong end there for Julio, but I'd have to give that round to Kevin Park. All action. Look at Park here. Spinning back strikes by both, both fighters missing the spinning back fist there. Peruvian necktie almost yeah, here by Kevin Park, and Julio's able to roll through. Nice game. Didn't really catch him, caught the arm. Another rolling thunder. So close. That hits you in the back of the head, especially with that heel. You're going night lights out. Second now. Harris Jr. just missed on a Sick kick to the head as Park was coming up. And fasten your seatbelt. We're about to get started. Round number three. Yet another example of how fight record doesn't necessarily determine where the fighters are going to stack up against each other in competition. Yeah, these matchups are absolutely even all throughout the night. This should be one heck of a third round. Oh, big right hand. Oh, returned it. Returned that cartwheel. And they had to give each other a little high five as a recognition. <laughs> nice right hand by Nevis Jr. Amazing head movement by Park. Absolutely. Take down. Beautiful take down right there. Double leg slam. And this is the part where Park's going to probably have the most problems in the fight. We saw it a little earlier. Smaller guy, bigger guy on top. Can't really use her legs. Listen, hats off. 
showing. Julio Cesar Neves Jr. definitely took the fight where he needed to go in the third round. Now, I think Julio's pointing to his right shoulder. It looks like he hurt his right shoulder maybe in the second round, so he's actually pointing to it being like, hurt my arm. I wasn't able to use my arm, he was saying. Which is, of course, the arm that he's raising up in victory. <laughs> The judges' decisions have been very interesting tonight, and uh, we'll see if we get more of the same. I thought Kevin Park fought a great fight. Julio Cesar Neves Jr., outstanding. Park really exceeding all expectations, going against a guy 34-1, and one, going against a guy with twice his reach, and, and really able to uh, hang in there and go the distance. Right now, they're getting the judges' scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn to the judges' score card. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by anonymous decision. From the red corner, Borskino, Julio Sheejan, Davis Jr. Well, the judges got that one, George. Yes, the they winners did. Over tonight there was a great fight by Kevin Park, Park Jr. It was not a good third round, but it was a great company. performance by an unheralded two and one fighter, now two and two. You have to keep an eye out for Kevin Park. No doubt the guy has got a whole lot of potential. He's just getting started in his pro career. Now that being said, Julio Cesar Neves Jr. is now 35 and one. You have to expect bigger and better things for Julio Cesar Neves Jr. moving forward here at Battlefield FC2.